Okay, so number nine, um, we have parts A through E, and we're given uh, two numbers in Roman numerals, and we want to know which one is greater and tell why. Okay, so remember, with Roman numerals, they never use more than three of the same digits. Okay, if the numbers or the digits are in order from uh, biggest to smallest, then you add them up. If you have a smaller number in front of a bigger number, you actually subtract it. Okay, so this one has M, which is a thousand, C, a hundred, D, five hundred. So this is actually representing four hundred. Actually, subtract those. So this is four hundred here. And then over here we have M, which is a thousand, D, five hundred, and then C, one hundred. So this would be six hundred. So the order in which the numbers are placed tell me that the DC one is bigger than CD. Okay, so I want to say that the DC represents the greater, um, not because CV is greater than DV, because DC and CD. So this one is greater because the DC is greater than CD, yes. <clears throat> okay, so this one is in our base 10 counting system. We can tell right here 60,000 is bigger than 6,000. Um, so we say this is the bigger number because 6 represent the 10,000 and 6 in this one represents the 1,000. Yes. Okay, so this is, I believe, the Mayan uh, system. So notice, this is the one that talked about that space. This is 10, 11, 12. They're all right next to each other this space indicates that this is a group of 60 I believe and um, since this is a 10 I think it's going to be 10 times 60 so this will be 602 so this is 12 and then I think 602 if I remember correctly so it says this one is greater because it has the two symbols in the second place value let me see this one represents greater number because it has in the second place value I think that's what we want to say in the second place value um, so the second place value so first you got the ones and then you have the second one which is the 660 um, and I think that's what this is saying this represents the greater number because this symbol is in the second place value uh, second meaning kinda like um, if we have um, ones and then the tens place, okay, it would be in this place value, whereas everything else is kind of in that first place value. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay, so this is the Hindu Arabic number system, base 10, which is what we use and um, I don't think there's anything strange about these you just add up the symbols so this number uh, represents 3000 whereas this number represents 2011 10 plus 1 um, So, as the explanations, this one is the greater because this symbol, value of 1000, and that only has a 10. Okay, so we're going to say this. That looks like the best explanation that I can see. That's not the larger. This is the larger, uh, not because it has fewer symbols. This one actually has more symbols. Um, fewer symbols don't mean it's greater, but this explanation, that's a 1000, and those two only add up to be 11. And then this, um, we have E, which this line represents 5, 2.67. And then we have this symbol, which represents 20. Okay? When you have a dot above the zero that represents 20, which you get in the reading. 
So um, we have 7 versus 20. So this is going to be larger. Um, and C says that this represents a greater number because that represents 1 times 20 because it's the second place value. Um, this says, says this represents the greater number because that represents 20 in the second place value. What is the difference between these two explanations? Um, looks like the same thing. This represents a greater number. 120. This represents the greater number because dot represents no, not dot by itself. I don't remember which explanation. I know that this represents 20. I know it says something about them being uh, stacked vertically. I think it's because this is in the second position right below the one. Okay, that's the one we're going to go with. Okay, so maybe there's the other one. Because that dot's in the second position. I didn't really pick that up. I have to go back and check that. Let's look at that real quick. Um, just to be sure. I can actually close this and just say um, textbook just to verify. Where that came from. loading okay so let's show that symbol that's the Mayan symbol and I didn't remember that exact explanation okay so here we are it says this represents 19 representation representation for 20 is this which represents one group of 20 and that's all I see it didn't really talk about a second position so I guess you're just gonna have to pick that up from practice I don't think there's another one that mentioned that either and this just talks about it represents a group of 20 so um, Let's make note. I didn't see it in the reading. I might have to go back and read a little bit more carefully. Um, but this is the only thing that I saw that says this represents one group of 20. And um, I didn't re recall anything about position. So just make a note of that. Uh, be careful there.